First, though, more breaking news. Investigators releasing more clues in the horrific case of a couple stabbed to death while out riding their bikes. Daytona Beach police just gave us new photos of a man they call a person of interest in the murders. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Justin Mormuth. It comes as people living in the neighborhood where this all happened are planning to discuss their public safety concerns tonight. News 6 is Molly Reed joins us now live with the very latest. Molly. Well, Justin, you can see police are still here behind me in the neighborhood, keeping surveillance and keeping an eye on these neighbors. But in the meantime, they are releasing new pictures of who they're calling a person of interest. So go, let's go ahead and take a look at those now. Now take a close look at the person. See if you recognize them in it. He is wearing a hat backpack white pants a plaid scarf and appears to have a tattoo on the back of his left arm. Now yesterday police released surveillance video of him too where he's walking down Seabreeze Avenues toward A1A. Now police said in their post that they believe he's connected to the murder of Terry and Brenda Altman early Sunday morning. They say the Altmans were Daytona Beach residents and were leaving bike week celebrations on Seabreeze heading home when they were attacked. Their bodies were found in a front yard on Wild Olive Avenue. They were stabbed and their throats were slashed. Now, if you recognize this person, you're asked to call Daytona Beach detectives at 386-671-5257. Police have not said whether this was a provoked attack or random, which has obviously neighbors here on Wild Olive nervous and on high alert. Now, we're also told that neighbors here on Wild Olive had a personal private meeting with police last night. And just before we came on air, we talked to one of those neighbors and she said they got a little bit more information about a possible suspect. And that's something we're looking into and we'll bring you as part of our coverage starting tonight on News 6 at 4 p.m. But in the meantime, again, police are asking the public to share these pictures of who they're calling a person of interest. We posted them to our website, clickorlando.com, so that you can post them from there. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6. Thank you, Molly.